Hey, look, is this for real about the president staying in ordinary people's homes? Oh, yes. It was on television and in the newspapers. He does it all the time. Uh, he likes to get to meet the people. Yeah? And I guess all those people get great publicity, right? Oh, yes. You know, I was in the newspaper once. Wait. I just got a great idea. Look, since Carter's gonna be in town tomorrow, let's ask him to stay here overnight. What? I'm gonna call the president and ask him to stay here overnight. What? Look, Weezy, can you think of a better way to get publicity? That's crazy! Hello, operator. I'd like to place a long-distance phone call to the White House, please. Yes, the one in Washington. Flunk! George, have you lost your mind? The president will never stay here. A dry cleaner is just as good as a beer distributor any day. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll hold it. Hey, look, would you talk to my secretary, please? Here. I ain't no secretary. You ain't no maid, neither. Here. Who am I calling? The White House. The White House? You're wasting your time, child. They do their own cleaning. Look, just tell them it's Mr. Jefferson calling. George, you can't be serious. What are you talking about? Of course I'm serious. This is a great move. Hello. Is this the White House? It is the White House! I'm talking to the White House, y'all! See? Look, look. Would you just tell them who I am? <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> are calling for Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> what? They said Jefferson ain't president no more. Give me that. Move. Just, just. Uh, <clears throat> hello? Hello? Uh, this is George Jefferson calling. I'd like to speak to Jimmy, please. <laughs> what do you mean, Jimmy who? Jimmy president. <laughs> what? No, I don't want to talk to you. This is personal between Jimmy and me. Say what? You don't want to talk? Look here. You tell him if he don't talk to me, I'll get him where it hurts. I just won't vote for him next time. Uh, you didn't vote for him last time. <laughs> Look, are you gonna put me through or not? Okay, you tell your boss if that's the way he feels about people, that this country would be better off without him. George! Look, we just don't worry about it. This is the way you handle these people. That's the only language they understand. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, oh, 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 that's more like it, sister. <laughs> yeah, I'll be here. George Jefferson, New York City, 555-3197. Thank you. What happened? What did they say? <laughs> I did it, Weezy. You know, they asked me if I was gonna be here. That means he's gonna be calling me back. No, Jeff. President Carter really might stay here. That's right. Oh, I gotta tell Tom and Helen. Hold on, hold on, look. If the president wants to see zebras, he can go to the zoo. <laughs> I better get this place straightened up. You're right. I don't want him telling Rosalind I keep a messy house. Oh, yeah, you better get a cleaner lady in here, Weezy. <laughs> I just cleaned yesterday. Rearranging the dust ain't cleaning. <laughs> get a caterer, too. <laughs>